Do you want more clients? But you do not want to sound salesy. Ooh, salesy, right? It's what I, I, I think there's a term for it. People can tell when you're when you're trying to sell them. They they call it the sales breath. You're like, hey, da, da, da. and and I think that's one of the things in the aesthetics community that a lot of estheticians just don't want. I hear it again and again. Wick, I don't want to sound salesy. Wick, I don't want to be that way. Wick, I don't want to pressure or this or that. And that is why I'm making this video for you on how you can eliminate the pressure of sales by just doing this. That's kind of cool. No, just, anyways, if you don't know me, this is your boy, Wick. Wicka, 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 wicka. Shut up. All right. And why do I do these videos and why have I been doing it for so long is because I care about you. I care about you. I care about your success. And unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of people just aren't talking about these things. And I've been in sales for over 20 plus years. So this stuff, everything I talk about, I discuss, it is like 99.9% .9 tested, proven, and it works if you work it. All right, let's get into it. You know what? Sales, in fact, one of these days, I'll write a book about it. Sales is kind of like dating dating and it's just a to, to me it's just a parallel of the two because to get a client uh you know if, if i'm trying to get a woman it's you know it's the same thing i gotta approach if i'm trying to talk to a gal i gotta approach her you know what's my opening line how do i say it what do i talk about how do i keep the, keep her interested etc cetera, etc cetera. and i remember a long time ago because i studied the dating uh, because I just was not good at it. I was not good at meeting women, did super nervous, didn't know what to do, say. So I bought a ton of books on how to meet women, what to do, what to say. Uh, just like anything in life, we are not taught this thing at birth. It's not taught in school and neither is sales. So it's just one of those things that if it's important to you, just like dating was to me, then I took it upon myself to go and learn. And one thing that always stuck with me is for guys, you know, what a daunting, you know, you ladies make it so hard sometimes. Oh my God, so hard to, to approach. Uh, not because you're doing anything wrong per se, but your signals are kind of this and that. So we don't know if you're interested or not, but back to the lecture at hand. So one of the things it said, like one of the big fears of, us dudes that we have is approaching a woman and getting rejected, approaching a woman and getting rejected, similar to sales, right? Talk, going up to a stranger and saying, hi, I'm an esthetician. And that person saying, eh, whatever, right? It's, it's very similar. So what I learned that changed the way I, one, approached women and two, how I handled the fear of rejection is this. I changed the what I wanted as an outcome. So instead of me and my goal was to leave with a gal's phone number or something like that, so I can hit her up later, which is either a yes or a no thing. And it's it's for me, it was just a lot of pressure. So what I changed it to be after I learned this is they go, don't go there with the intention of, leaving with her number, you know, go there with the intention of making her smile, making her laugh. Are, are, are you with me? You know, it's, it's such a small thing because if I went and I approached the gal and I just complimented her or I said something funny or whatever, and she laughed and we had a little conversation if it led to me getting her number, great. And if not, well, then great. I still won because I made a, a positive impression on this gal. Are, are, are you with me? So I changed the outcome uh, of, of what my expectation was. Because if the conversation went well, and I went there and I made her laugh, I made her smile, we're talking, if she happened to be single at that time and uh, and she was open to it, I think I would get a number, you know, number, email, Insta, whatever. 
80 to 90% of the time, meaning, I'm, you know, I'm pretty, my game is pretty solid because I am quite clever, I think, but whatever. But, but I changed how I approach and what I wanted. So it was hard for me to get rejected, meaning some girls got to be a really bad, not good person to be totally mean to a stranger who's trying to make her laugh and smile, right? Are, are you with me? I'm not saying people can't have bad days or off days or whatever, but, but you know, it's, it's one of those things you know, that if I went up to and said hi to a gal and she went, Psh, whatever, it's like that, that person's got other issues and, and that's not on me. That's, you know, whatever's on her mind or whatever she's going through, but it's not on me. And so that, that pressure was off, right? And so how, what, what does this mean for you and for your beauty business? It means the following. Instead of trying to help, uh, instead of trying to sell a client or a potential client or going out and, and do that, right? The best thing that I've learned is a lot of people do not sign up for your beauty services, not because they don't want it or they don't feel they need it. But people in general, especially women, I'm going to just be general here, right? Very general. I'm going to generalize, so don't hate me. But especially women uh, find it a tough time to make a decision. Yeah, I, I, can, I can take a gal to, to a sandwich shop. And let's just say we're at the airport or something like that. And there's like 50 sandwiches on the wall. Oh, my God, we're going to be there for days. Like, what do I want? Do I want this one? Do I want that one? This one? Oh, that, what about that one? How long is this? Been? What's the date on this? What's going on here? She, I'm picking the first thing. I'm like, that one's done, right? But, but can you agree with me that sometimes, sometimes women can have a tough time making a decision? Yes, yes, cool. So the goal is not to sell your client, but help them walk them through the process so they can decide for themselves. The biggest problem, freaking highlight this, underline this, do whatever you must. The biggest problem is not that they don't want your service. They are just having a hard time to decide. If you can help them move them forward. So the goal is education, and giving them the, the, the knowledge to help them decide for themselves, yes, this is the right thing to do. Yes, I need this now. Yes, this, this you are the right esthetician for me. And yes, let's do this, right? So don't, it's not about making the sale or not, but it's like after you talk to someone, whether they're on the street, a potential client, a uh, you know, in the DMs or whatever messages is, did I educate this person enough so they now feel comfortable moving forward? Are you with me? Does that make sense? Because if you, if your goal is to educate and let this person know, hey, this is, you've been, how long, and these are some of the questions that I asked, right? Some of the very powerful questions that just I call it walking them through the path. And uh, one of my favorite sayings I talk about all the time is if cash is king, your consult is queen. If, if you have a strong consultation process, then you should be closing, your close rate should be extremely high because you're walking them through the path. You're leading them to where you want them to go. But for example, if someone is struggling with acne, well, how long have they been struggling with acne? You know, one of the questions I ask, so how long have you been struggling with acne? Three years. You know how long three years is? 365 days a year times three, over a thousand something, over a thousand time days looking in the mirror and not being happy with your skin. How many times does a person, a woman look in the mirror on a daily basis? 5,000? No, I, I, maybe it's not 5,000. I'll just say. I'm just saying, ah, maybe not. But can, let's just say 10 times a day. Maybe I'm thinking it's a much more, but let's just say 10 times a day, right? So a thousand days times 10 times a day is what? A thousand times 10, 10,000. I, I, got, I got this, yo. 10,000. So a, a woman 
and I think it's about much more 10, right? Let's call it 20. I think 20 is good. 20,000 times this woman looked in the mirror to check her makeup and this and this, and she sees her acne, right? So at that point, she, she wants better skin. Can we agree most women want better skin? Can, can we agree on that, right? Nothing, I'm not trying to go too far out on left field. So 20,000 times. And, and if she goes, yeah, I've been struggling with this for three years. Well, do you want to struggle like this for another three? Ooh, you hear that? You feel that? Ooh, I got the shivers just thinking about that, right? No. Okay. So what have you done before to do it yourself? And she did this and she bought that and she bought this stuff for Sephora. She trusted the, the Sephora ladies. She bought this and this. Go, go, go. Okay. I see you bought all these things, right? Uh, why did they not work for you? You know, what is the reason you feel that these things did not work for you? You know, are, are you an esthetician? Have you learned about skincare or did you just buy based on trends or what somebody else recommended and, and you just follow that path? That's what you did. Yeah, cool. Okay. Right. And so I understand exactly why now that didn't work for you is because the, the folk, whether you tried to do it yourself you know, we actually, as an esthetician, I went through training and this and that. I actually spent a lot of time on your skin to determine what is going to be the right solution. And I walk you through that path of it. So a lot of the times, if you do not have the skin you would like and you are struggling with the acne that you are, it's because of one of three reasons, right? One, you're not using the right products the right way. Two, you're not being consistent with that skincare routine, and you might be jumping from product to product. And three, you're not uh, working closely with a licensed trained esthetician to get you from where you are to where you want to be, All right? Can we agree on that, All right? So do, do you feel you would get better results if you tried it yourself, like the last three years, or if you worked with a professional skincare specialist like myself, All right? Boom, All right? So whatever. So those are, again, some of the questions that I have that I walk through the path, I call them, and they go, yeah, I think I'd get, get, you know, the results faster if I worked with somebody that knew what they were doing. Absolutely. So let's get going. Boom. All right. So, so, do, do, but do you see that? My job is to, you know, my job is to lead her to the truth, lead her to that path where she admits herself, I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. I tried all these things based on freaking playing Russian roulette with my skin because I tried a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. My mom told me to put turmeric on my face. Someone told me to dot the uh, toothpaste. You know, I'm doing this, blah, blah, blah. So all these things that people try, but, but they don't know what the heck they're doing, right? So, but, but, but do you see me if, if you are able to walk them by educating them why what they were doing didn't work, why they're struggling now, because here's the deal. Estheticians, you have an obscene amount of power that you are just unfortunately not using. And what I mean by that is every person that's asking you a question or in your DMs or sends you a message or whatever, they need your help. So you are always in a position of power because you know more about skincare than your clients. They're, they're asking you questions because they need your help. Now, instead of trying to sell them, you, you, you use my recommendation and you give them this information and you find out just like, just like, like a normal uh, just an inquisitive person. Oh, okay. So what do you, what have you used? You know, how long have you used it? Why did you pick that thing? Right. And again, just, just out of, uh, what do they call it? A like childish curiosity. You know, what made you do this? Okay. And, and, and then you tried this. Okay. And, and none of these things seem to work for you. Right. Cause if they work, you wouldn't be here. Are you with me? Yeah. Right. So it's this childish curiosity of showing them that the steps they've done or taken have been wrong without calling them stupid. All right, that's never going to work. So, so you're just sharing with them, okay, I see you did this. I see you did that. 
And if, as you can hear the words I'm using in the sentences, most of the stuff I'm saying are just questions. I'm asking them. I'm not going to tell them, well, this is what I recommend and this is what you should do. And da, 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 right? No, I want them to go in their mind and say, you know what? I feel if I went with you, I could get better skin faster than if I tried it myself. Th that needs to come from them. So if you could just try to help people, educate people, lead them to the path for, again, not to sell them, but help them decide for themselves. If, if you can grasp this concept, your business will never be the same. So one, you will get a buttload of money. You will get a buttload of clients. This buttload a lot. I don't know why people say buttload, but uh, whatever, right? Three, you will no longer have the fear of rejection because all you're doing is asking questions. You're not trying to sell them. Your, your, your goal is, hey, you know what? I know it can be a tough decision sometimes on what to do, how to do it, whatever. But if you have the guidance and the assistance and a partner like myself to guide you through that, do you feel you could maybe accomplish your goals? Could you get there with assistance, with guidance, with training, with the products, and with me showing you the right way to use those products? You know, would do you feel you could maybe get the results that you're looking for? Yes. Okay, then let's get started. Boom. All right. So it needs to come from them, though. It's such a small thing. So I'm never trying to sell people anymore. I don't try to sell and go like, hey, what you got to do to get you in this car? Because and a lot of you are, you're right. You know, you don't want to sound salesy. You don't want to say salesy things. But it, it just it's easier if you just ask them questions and help them decide for themselves that you are the solution to their skin woes woes like whoa <laughs> all right so hopefully this is beneficial listen to this like a million times if you listen to this and realize your job is to help guide them to make a decision that's it because everything they've done before that they've been neglecting this or they thought about this is they've made the wrong decisions you're just there here now to help them with the right decision and if you do a good job, they will book with you. Your percentages will increase. Your sales will increase. Your client load will increase. Everything will increase. Your bank account will increase what you want. Increase who you want. I want my business to increase. Woo woo. Uh, something like that. All right. So check it out. Be amazing. Hope you apply this if you do. Congratulations, I'll tell you right now, it will revolutionize your business and it take it to the peaks so high, so high in the sky, it will rival the peaks of the highest Himalayas. And that's high. Be amazing, because being amazing pays oh so well. Pesos. Pesos.